how do I look? When my parents was creating me, there were many spirits at play. I experienced the air, its spirit caressed me, the wind blew by, its effect changed a number of things, and its spirit moved me. The sun ray touched and stayed, its spirit dwelt in me. In my creator and around my creator, the spirit played their parts. The incredible forces of the earth did not want to be left out. So all the elements came out and fully joined in. With a mind of their own, they generously added themselves to what's on their path. My creator was on their path, and so was I, and I remain on their path. The air gave generously and got mixed in. The sun rained generously to become part of me. At night, the moon visited whilst my creator slept. Its beautiful changing face beamed all night as it kept watch. It was a keen observer and did not miss a thing. So we would converse until the morning comes on its shift. What no one knew is that the moon knew what my creator did not know and continued to smile at the thought of all it witnessed happening around me. My creator was in the dark, what some call sleep, but the dark was in me, surrounded me, highlighting the lights. You see, my dear friend, the elements in me are more than the visible materials my creator used to make me. I was present in the spirits of both what my creator saw and what my creator did not see. And those spirits are in me. Some spirits were in my creator's thoughts and some came from my creator's experience. So spirits are part of my big family. The spirits, influential at the time that was creating me, became part of me. What you see is bigger than what was in my creator's thoughts. So this is why I ask, how do I look? My creator and I experienced a constant change, so I do not know how I look. Can you see all the spirits and all the elements in me? Please tell me what you see. How? Do I look? Some think I started life as cut bunch of sunflowers. But how did the cut bunch of sunflowers start life? For those who think I started life as cut bunch of sunflowers, they are right to think that from the scene I became unseen and from the unseen I became the scene. But is that the whole story? Is that the only story? Did I really start life as cut sunflower? Is that who I am? Your own premise may be that I was first unseen, then became a vision from which I was made into the scene which you now see, though part of me may still remain unseen. But how does that unseen, which became a vision, look? Does it look like I look? You see, my dear friend, at conception, I lived inside my creator. But now, it is I who bear my creator. I bear my creator's name. In me, my creator and I meet. But I don't know if my creator and I look alike. 
I still do not know how I look. But I have never seen myself. I'm not sure how my creator looks. Though I have been told the name and I bear the name. A lot of things joined forces to become me. And the me I became is encountering more forces. And the forces I am absorbing are keeping me in constant change. Please tell me what you see. How do I look? How do I look? How do I look? Book two.